Hi friends, in this video we will see uh, how to secure a Cisco device access. We will see securing administrative access uh, such as a secure privileged exit access with a password, secure user exit with a password, and secure remote telnet access with a password. Before coming to that, we will see uh, how we will uh, select a best password. Use passwords that are more than 8 characters in length. Then use a combination of upper and lower case letters, numbers, special characters and numeric sequences. Then avoid using the same password for all devices. Also don't use the common words because these are easily guessed. First of all, we will secure privileged exit access with a password. The most important password to configure is access to the privileged exit mode. We will use our Cisco Packet Tracer uh, to see how to secure privileged exit access with a password. Here, we can secure our privileged exit access with a password in two ways. One is giving a plain text password and the another one is giving the encrypted password. We will see both method now. We will use a switch 2960 series. Coming to the switch, CLI, press return to get started, you will press enter, enable, configure terminal. Here in this uh, global configuration mode, we are going to give the command enable and here we can see we can give password or secret. So first of all, we will uh, uh, assign a plain text password. So we have to give the command password, assign the privileged level password. We will give the command password. So here we can see a uh, set unencrypted enable password. It's a clear text password. Here we will uh, set our uh, password. We will consider our password as a Cisco. Here we are considering a simple password uh, as it is a training video. Whenever we configure a password in the real world, we have to remember to set a complex password. Well, here we are going to uh, set a simple password as Cisco. We will exit. Now we will verify our configuration by giving this command show running config more and here we can see enable password Cisco. Here we can see this password is in plain text. Now we will verify. We will disable and we will move to user exit mode then again going back to our privileged exit mode we will give the command enable and here we can see now it's prompted for the password so we will give the password what we set that is Cisco now we will see the second method that is uh, by giving the encrypted password that is secret password so we can go to global configuration mode configure terminal here we have to give enable secret then we have to specify our uh, uh, password suppose here we are going to give it's a secret as the password then we will exit now we will verify our uh, secret password by giving this command show running config and here we can see enable secret and here is the password it's encrypted now we will verify our configuration so we will uh, disable then again we will go to a uh, privileged exit mode by giving the command enable and here we can see it's prompted for the password we will try with our enable password that is Cisco no it's not working so whenever we configure uh, enable secret that will be overrided with the enable password here we have to give our uh, uh, 
a secret password that is uh, it's a secret it's working now we are in a privileged exit mode now we will see uh, how to secure user exit with a password we should configure the console port to secure the user exit access enter line console configuration mode using the line console zero global configuration command the zero is used to represent the first console interface okay right now we will see how to configure this line console zero password uh, in our uh, switch using the cisco packet tracer okay here we have to go to global configuration mode configure terminal here we are going to give line here we will use a primary terminal line that is console then uh, first line number so we have only uh, one line number that is zero that is the console interface now we are going to uh, enable the password then specify the password suppose here we are going to give the password as uh, ccna then we have to give the command login so when we give this login command next time when we login again into our ios it will prompt for the password we will verify that we will exit from privileged exit mode we will give your exit so here we can see we exited from the ios so press return to get started we will press enter and here we can see user access verification is prompted for the password we will give the password what we set it's ccna now we can see we are in user exit mode right now we will see how to secure remote telnet access with a password virtual terminal vty lines enable a remote access to the device to secure vty line used for ssh and telnet enter line vty mode using the line vty 0 to 15 global config command many cisco devices support up to 16 vty lines that are numbered 0 to 15 okay we will do that using our cisco packet tracer enable here the password is it's a secret we'll go to configure terminal here we are going to give line and here we can see vty virtual terminal then we have to give the first line number so as we told we have 0 to 15 lines that is a total 16 lines so we will start from zero suppose we are going to configure a password a password for all lines so we have to give the last line number that is 15 now we will set our password oh, here we will give the password as uh, class then we will give the command login here we can see that uh, login enable password checking now we will verify our uh, passwords we set show running config here we can see enable secret encrypted password here we can see enable password it's in plain text password coming downside here we can see line console zero the password what we given here is a ccna uh, it's in uh, plain text password and coming to uh, line vty here we can see from uh, 0 to 4 and uh, 5 to 15 password is a class this password is also a plain text password now we will see how to encrypt all these uh, plain text password whatever we set or or whatever we are going to set the startup config and running config files display most passwords in plain text yes we have seen that this is a security thread since anyone can see the passwords used if they have access to these files then how we can encrypt all these plain text passwords yes we can do that using a service password encryption command in global configuration mode we will go to 
global configuration mode by giving this command configure terminal and here we will give service password encryption now we will verify our passwords show running config here we can see our enable password is encrypted now we will verify our console and vty here we can see line console 0 it's encrypted coming to uh, line vty 0 to 4 and uh, 5 to 15 it's encrypted right in this video we have seen how to secure a cisco device access dear friends if you have any doubt any suggestions uh, please comment below and if you like my video give a thumb and share with your friends also consider subscribing and enable uh, that bell icon so that you will get the future uploading video notification stay tuned and we will meet again with the next video thank you